I thank you, Jesus, for everyone who clicks on this video. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak to me and through me in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, amen. Now, I make this video to, to warn you guys to start being more cautious about the people that you are watching, okay? And this video is more so geared towards those people who are making videos to debate the word of God, to argue the word of God, and to also uh, the also people making videos where they are exposing quote unquote false prophets and false teachers. Okay. Um, a lot of these people who are making these types of videos are not actually spirit led. And that's something that we actually have to take into consideration. And that's something that we have to question when we see these kinds of videos, a lot of these, and I just want to talk about the debating videos first. A lot of these debating videos are causing a lot of confusion, okay? Let's say that you have an understanding on something that the Holy Spirit gave you an understanding on, and you are going and you're watching these debating videos, and if you're not spiritually mature enough, something that the Holy Spirit gave you revelation on could be compromised and corrupted as a result of you watching certain people debate something that you've received revelation on, okay? So an important thing to know here is that a gift, the gift of discernment is a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit. And this is something that we should ask for and flow in because when we have the gift of discernment, then we can pretty much discern if we should even watch the video that is that is being put out by these certain people. OK, and why are these people debating? Why are they arguing the word of God? Why are they doing these things, tearing down basically um, other people uh, with the word of God? But the thing is, OK, they're they're searching the scriptures and they're searching the Bible to argue it. OK, there's a problem there. Instead of searching the Bible to to edify themselves and to edify their followers, right, the people who follow them. They're arguing amongst each other. They're making reaction videos to other uh, pastors and things of this sort, okay? And I just don't believe that these guys are being spirit-led. The reason I don't believe it is because I prayed about it, okay? And I would uh, um, advise you guys to do the same thing. Pray about a, a particular debater or reaction video creator, uh, that is a, you know, Christian uh, and making content for, for Christians. Pray about the intentions of this person and pray about what spirit do they even understand the Holy Spirit. Many times when these people are doing these debate videos and things like this, they never mention the Holy Spirit because they're not actually led by the spirit. And here's another tricky thing, too. You can watch people who are saying they are being led by the spirit as well right? But ultimately, they're actually not. And this is why we need the gift of discernment from the Holy Spirit to learn the way that he actually communicates, to learn the way that we feel, right? When we cut on certain people, right? Do you feel like you're convicted as soon as you cut on a person? Do you feel like maybe I shouldn't watch them, but you still continue to watch them? You have to pay attention to all of these little details and pray into these things, okay? Because it'll actually save you. Right. Like I said, a lot of these debaters and things like this, they never actually talk about the Holy Spirit because they don't understand things of the spirit. Their 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 understanding of the scriptures actually comes from their own flesh. So this is why they are debating these things. They're not coming from the spirit. When the Pharisees would try to debate with Jesus Christ and ask him questions, he would literally ask. He would answer the question in a way that they would have no response to. Why? Because he was led of the spirit. You can't come against someone who was led of the spirit. There's no debate because everything they say is going to be from truth because they have the spirit of truth dwelling in them. I would never even allow myself to literally debate the word of God with something with someone. And then another thing, these people who are exposing uh, prophets and stuff, making literally monitoring the life of of these people screen recording videos, right? Things that they are saying, taking their pictures, putting it in their videos, literally spending a whole hour and 30 minutes teaching uh, against this person, right? 
and they're doing all these things saying that they're trying to open up the people's eyes but what is the real intention there is their intention to actually get views you know what i'm saying is their intention to make themselves look more holy or better these are things that you have to ask yourself are they actually spirit led to do these types of videos because a lot of these people are not led of the spirit to be exposing these people. Instead of actually doing exposure videos, how about they make videos with the word of God, right? And teaching their their followers uh, about the gift of the sermon and leading a, a way and a life in their ministry so that people can actually have an example of what to do and what to be, right? Instead of these people. Ultimately, what's being created is a lot of strife and division in the comments of these debate videos and these exposed videos. You have a side of people who follow the false prophets and you have a side of people who follow this channel. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, they're not really getting anywhere. I can guarantee you that they're not getting anywhere. OK, even the people who are saying that this is confirmation, uh, uh, many times they still continuously to they still continue to follow these channels. OK, they don't actually turn away from these channels, even though they're on your side saying that this is confirmation. A lot of people are lost and what they really need is the true gospel. They need true edification and to learn things of the spirit. Because a lot of people don't teach about the Holy Spirit and how to utilize him and who he really is and about the actual word of God. Right. Not trying to come against other debate, the word of God and do all of these uh, these foolish things like just spreading contentions and strifes amongst the people. It, it, it's pointless. It's honestly pointless. I believe that they should really leave this type of stuff alone. And you shouldn't be watching channels who are just centered around this kind of um, content. OK, so this is a warning to be cautious of the people that you watch. If this is for you and you feel as though you shouldn't even be watching these people, then, you know, receive this and really learn God for yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Really learn God. Continue to work on your own salvation with fear and trembling and just trust in the Holy Spirit. Trust that um, the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth and will guide you into where you need to be. OK, listen to edifying videos that are centered around the word of god someone that i suggest on my channel is always kevin la you and i I'll always you know what I'm saying suggest him because his word his his videos are saturated in the word of god you know and it's, it's very it's very beautiful to see it's very refreshing because not a lot of people uh saturate their content in the word of god and it's just really trying to give you the unadulterated truth okay not trying to come against other people not trying to you know what i'm saying debate and all these things, just preaching the word of God, just giving you the unadulterated truth, right? The way that Kevin L.A. Ewan uh, runs his ministry, it'll literally show you he doesn't, Kevin L.A. Ewan doesn't have to make an exposed video because the way that he runs his ministry is literally, per, like, it's literally how a, a ministry is supposed to be ran. I ain't gonna say perfect, but it's literally how a ministry is supposed to be ran. He tells you the truth. He stays in his lane, you know what I'm saying? And he's not trying to step outside of that. He exposes the lies and, ex and deceit, you know what I'm saying? And he also exposes it through his ministry, through the way that he runs his ministry, through the way that he only uses the word of God. He's not giving you his opinion, you know what I'm saying? So that's something to consider. Uh, a lot of you guys should look into and things like this, you know, um, and just be very wise in this time and really, really ask for the gift of discernment. Um, Hebrews 4 and 12 actually says that the word of God is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of a man. You know what I'm saying? So the more that you are in the spirit and the more that you read the word of God, it'll help you actually understand who you should uh, be engaged in and engaged with. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll have a level of discernment when you do those two things. Um, the Bible also says that in the last days that the very elect will be um, will be deceived. OK, so even people that you follow who recommend other people, you should still go and pray about that person. I, even though I just recommended Kevin, he came across this video. Pray about Kevin. Right. Pray and see who he is. Pray and see who the Holy Spirit tells you who he is. If he is a true servant, if he is someone that you should follow. Right. Because. Um, there's actually two people that I follow that they always suggest um, and that they that they follow, that they vouch for 
Um, but I've gotten a word about that I shouldn't follow them and that other people shouldn't follow him and that he's actually false, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm not making videos about him. I'm not exposing that. I'm praying for them, praying that their eyes be open, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm not going to follow him. And in my eyes, a uh, guy has, well, well, a guy has told me that these two people are true servants, but they're just deceived, right? So in my eyes, they are elect, but they're deceived. So I'm not going to go and follow someone that is deceiving them. So it's just important to have this gift of discernment and to really, really like just be on high alert, right? Be on high alert. The Bible tells us to be sober, be be vigilant, you know what I'm saying? Because the devil, our adversary, literally is lurking, searching, seeking whom he may devour, okay? So we got to be vigilant. We got to be sober-minded, man. We, we got to be on high alert, you know what I'm saying? Because it's vultures, bro. It's vultures around. It's literally wolves and sheep's clothing everywhere, you know what I'm saying? All on YouTube, all on TikTok, all on Instagram, all in the church, right? So you have to operate in the spirit of wisdom. You have to operate with, with the Holy Spirit. You have to really, really do all of these things. You know what I'm saying? Ask for the gift of discernment, all of these things. You need all of these things in this time. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to warn you. You know what I'm saying? So if this video, if this video is like, you know, registering with your spirit, you know, you should really pray about this and really start searching God in the scriptures and really start educating yourself about the Holy Spirit and the fact that, uh, God will give any person the spirit of wisdom who asks, right? Because that's another spirit you have to operate in this time is the spirit of wisdom so that you make wise decisions. The Proverbs actually says that discretion shall keep you, you know what I'm saying? Discretion shall preserve you, you know what I'm saying? So making wise, good decisions will help you out. The only way you can do this is by operating with the spirit of wisdom, with the, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? With the gift of discernment of spirits and all of these things, okay? So, I just encourage you guys to really look into these things, pray about what I'm saying, and pray about who you're watching, okay? Y'all be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name.